Hey, it's Friday, together again. So glad that you could join me and uh, glad we could be together. I'm really excited about our content today, so we're going to jump into it in just a moment. Let me give you a couple of things that are going on here at Shoreline that uh, I hope you'll want to be a part of. First of all, we have the 60-day challenge. It's starting, it's actually going to be a Saturday. Um, it's starting on Saturday, August 1st. Um, you can find information about it on our website, www.sccbranford.org. It's right on the front page there. Scroll down. You can go to our Facebook. There's uh, information on our Facebook. And all you got to do is join it. There's a handbook that will walk you through some things. It's, it's not long. It's real quick reading. Um, give you some ideas of uh, how to have a quiet time and what we're going to do and how, uh, like, the 15, it could be 15 minutes, it could be 40, however long you spend. Um, it, it'll have some information for you there. And then each day, uh, I'll be posting what we're reading and, uh, you know, kind of what we'll be going through for 60 days. Um, that includes Saturdays and Sundays and Mondays and holidays and all of it. So it starts in August and uh, it's 60 day challenge. And I hope you'll join. Um, we have over 20 people already signed up. Very excited about it. I think this is going to be a great, uh, great thing. Um, also, just we're working on, Lori and I are working on the content of it. We're going to be doing a um, marriage um, community group. It'll be online. And you'll be able to join us um, if you would like to. I'll tell you the content we're going to be using. It's called Fierce Marriage. Um, they don't have it in Kindle, but they do have the books. You can go ahead and, and order a book for you and your husband or wife. And uh, it's called Fierce Marriage, and uh, that's available on Amazon. Um, we are not going to sell the books. Um, we'll make them a you know we'll tell you where to go. But uh, that'll probably be coming sometime in August. We're not able to to nail that all down. Yet, but uh, Lori and I are praying about this and and very excited about it. Now, here's the thing, um, and it's going to segue into our conversation today. This Sunday, um, I'm not going to be preaching, but I'm going to have a discussion with um, Vanessa and Sean Red. Uh, many of you who attend our church know who they are. Um, you do not want to miss this Sunday. We're going to talk about race and the church. And uh, what what should be our response as believers to um, what's happening with the Black Lives Movement? And uh, not political, okay? I, we're, we, I'm going to make this very distinction very um, strongly on Sunday. We're not talking about the, the politics of Black Lives Matter. We're talking about Black Lives Matter, okay? Um, and what that means. And what's the church's... What should we... As a predominantly white church, Shoreline Community Church, um, yes, we have Indian, yes, we have Black, yes, we have a uh, Hispanic, yeah, we we have diversity, but overwhelming, we are a white church. What should be our What should be our response? What should be all of our Black, Latino, Asian? Um, what should be our response to? to race and what's happening in our world right now. So we're going to talk about that. Um, and it might be uncomfortable. And that's good. That's good. Being uncomfortable is good. The gospel is uncomfortable. Loving others is uncomfortable. And uh, so that's going to be in our 9 o'clock and our 11 o'clock service, whether you're here or home. Um, if you're here at nine o'clock, it'll be live. If you're here at 11 o'clock, it'll be live. If you're here at nine o'clock, if you watch at nine o'clock, it'll be live at 11 o'clock. Um, it will be pre, it'll be the pre-recorded nine o'clock, uh, just to give you a heads up. So if you, if you're, at, if you could do 11 and you'd rather be here for the live conversation, then you'll want to be in person for the 11 o'clock. Okay. So that's all of that. So that segues me into what I want to talk to you about today. But I am really excited about today um, because I want to talk about one, one, the number one. Um, in Acts chapter 17, verses 20 through 4, excuse me, Acts 17, 24 through 26 says this. He is the God who made the world and everything in it. Since he is Lord of heaven and earth, he doesn't live in man-made temples, and human hands can't serve his needs, for he has no needs. He himself gives life and breath to everything, and he satisfies every need. From one, from one man, he created all the nations throughout the whole earth. 
He decided beforehand when they should rise and fall, and he determined their boundaries. One. All of us trace our lineage, our heritage, back to one. Black, white, brown, right? Red and yellow, black and white. All of us trace our lineage back to one. Now, one man, God proliferated and created mankind. We believe that. Through one man, Adam, Paul talks about, sin entered into the world. Now, we're all responsible for our own sin, but it was the decision of Adam that brought the, the downfall of mankind and ushered in sin. And it was through one man, Paul goes on to talk about, that we have redemption, and that's through Jesus Christ, the second Adam. So, we're going to talk about this on Sunday, but I, I wanted to give a preamble to our conversation on Sunday and say this. When we begin to talk about others, the bottom line is we're all the same. So that's the starting point. Whether I'm from the inner city or I'm from the backwoods of Mississippi, right? Whether I am rich or poor, whether I am black or white, whether I am married or single, put in whatever you want in, into all of those. The bottom line is, we're all humanity. God created every single one of us in his image. So I can't look at somebody with hate without looking at God's creation and hate what God created. I can't look at somebody and find them inferior without looking at what God created and said is good and thinking that it's inferior. I can't look at a group of people or a segment of the population and demean, demoralize, or degrade them without looking at the created creative process that God went through and saying, God, it's not good enough. It's degraded. It's less than. See, when I prejudge somebody, I'm prejudging what God said is good. Every single one of us is created in God's image. Every single one of us is loved equally by God. Every single one of us is a child of God. Every single one of us has the breath of God in our lungs. I'm going to leave this at a tension point today because I want you to join me on Sunday. Whether you join us online at sccbranford.online.church or you can go on YouTube, SCC Branford, or you can go on Facebook SCC, at SCC Branford. If you can't join us Sunday, it'll be up on our webpage, sccbranford.org. I think, I think this is going to be one of the watershed moments of our church. Invite your friends to join us. And listen, and listen, please. All of us, every single one of us, needs to hear what, what the Spirit is saying to us and what God would voice to us. Because listen, none of us are perfect, and we all come in with our preconceived ideas. Maybe, maybe, God wants to challenge those and tell us that we still have a long ways to go. 
Lord, I pray your blessing upon your church and your people. I pray that we would be at the forefront of loving others unconditionally. And Lord, where there may be prejudices in us, would you tear those down? Would you tear down walls that would separate us from fully embracing, loving, caring, and accepting our brothers and sisters, I pray in Christ's name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with me. Hey, listen, one more week of Monday and Friday, and then August the 3rd, we'll be back every day. Blessings. I'll see you soon.